yo 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 what's going on youtube ali dope checking in once again and we're back with another quick cover art tutorial man i'm sorry i've been away i think it's been about a month and some change man you know the world's opened back up so i just been really busy with client work client projects i'm also in the midst of moving next month so i'll be moving to like a better youtube studio stuff like that so i'll be able to provide better tutorials for you guys and things like that um i appreciate everybody supporting me thus far and let's get right to it first you're gonna pick your image and then you're just gonna use a uh, select subject cut your subject out or whatever you're trying to cut out that could be a watch jewelry glasses whatever just cover whatever you need to cut out also i'm gonna be talking more because everybody has been saying how am i gonna call it a tutorial if we don't talk you can always play it back slow-mo for a different speed art sometimes i don't have time to discuss every little step so forgive me for that i will make certain tutorials where i do explain it um a little bit more in depth so right now we're just cutting so now i'm just filling it with gray and then i'm just gonna add like a slight like lighter gray gradient radial gradient to the middle Okay, now we're gonna make some adjustments to our main image. You're gonna open up camera filter raw to make some adjustments. I just want a nice high contrast the image. So I'm gonna bump up the clarity on this one, play with the dehaze that brings out some of the blacks in it. I'm gonna add some texture to it and then I'm gonna make it black and white, which is a uh, monochrome because that's the theme. So I'm gonna go up black and white with red theme. So these adjustments, you can play with them as you wish. I'm gonna speed this part up because you have to do this for I think both of the images I'm gonna drop for this one and the background okay now we're just doing some cleaning up I'm taking off some of the lint that came out um because of the high contrast so i'm just going to use the uh, spot healing tool to clean up some of the like i said some of the lint some of his facial things since it's going to be so prominent on his face you don't want too many you know marks and imperfections i love great adjustments so you make sure the black and white is on for the gradient on that left side there on the color swatch and then all we're gonna do is create a, a, a diffusion glow which is in the filter gallery and that just gives it a nice little glow in the face and I don't know I just like that like the soft look okay now we're just gonna add like a slight adjustment layer um, a brightness and contrast just to you know what I'm saying tighten it up a little bit more and then we're just gonna hop right into the text so nothing too crazy okay find a font that you like i'm gonna go a little bit lighter black so it's not so dark like a light gray really i think i want to make all these capital we'll see there we go. All right, yeah. Make them all capital, and then you're gonna put that right on top. So I feel like it works better. Black Markets Reactor. I really love it. It's $70. I invested in it because I invest in my company and my business. And I need this to make my processes go quickly. It's a great investment. I'm not an affiliate marketer. I don't have any free copies. Please don't ask. Don't leave me a hundred co comments talking about something you got the free version. No, buy it like everybody else. Credit cards, you can do four payments of $20. I don't know what to tell you. This is what I use. You can also use a displacement map or something like that and then find some images and make your work around like that. That's not what this tutorial is about. You asked me how I did it. I'm showing you so I'm using a reactor and just using like a displacement on the text and we'll go from there on the displacement 
placement I liked. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna make some smooth adjustments on the inside because I made all the adjustments on top of my original layer. So I didn't actually use the reactor on my main image. I duplicated it and then made images on top. So it was like a main one. And then I started just cleaning up within within the actual image itself. So it looks like it's being like, um, a, it's being displaced like on his back, on his arms, on his hair, but not like the main part of the image. background image is kind of the same location for him I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the main image I'm gonna open up camera raw filter make it black and white make the same adjustments that I just did on my main image put it in the back So we're just gonna turn it down a little bit, the opacity. And once again, we're gonna open up uh, some exposures, some levels, make sure everything's right. And once again, I, for the background, I am using the reactor again, only cause I just, this, this was a quick cover art. So if you wanna turn around quick cover arts within an hour, you need some plugins to help you move the process along. Um, so yeah. set i'm gonna throw this like this overlay on it this little film vintage overlay and then it's crazy because you guys always ask me exactly what i'm using exactly thing like i don't have no exactly it's like literally i i use what y'all use i google it i be on on splash i be on pixels i just type in film film burns film overlays that type of stuff sometimes i buy things like that it depends who it is but i buy products too like i'm a designer so this is my job so i buy all types of textures all this other stuff so i am about to be working on my own textures since y'all want to ask i'll drop those for y'all to use So for the final touches, final adjustments, I'm adding like another brightness and contrast over the whole image to give it that nice dark feel. I added some glass type overlay texture. Uh, that gives you like some ripples type shit. Um, and then that's pretty much it, really. So I will be coming out now with new stuff soon. So follow, like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate y'all sharing. I appreciate everybody who purchased a pack. Till next time.